Built-in and user-assignable keyboard commands in Final Cut Pro 10.4 make color correction with the powerful new toolset Fast and Fluid. The keyboard shortcut Command 6 opens the color inspector to the color board. If you prefer starting with a different correction type, you can change this behavior. In Final Cut Pro Preferences, in the Editing tab, you can change the default correction. I'll select Color Wheels. Now when I press Command 6, I'm taken directly to the Color Wheels correction. In the Edit menu, the default video effect, applied with Option E, is also set to the color board. We can change that as well. I'll go to the Effects Browser, to the Color category. I'll right-click on the Color Curves correction and select Make Default Video Effect. The menu item updates, and now we can apply the Color Curves correction to any clip with Option E. Final Cut Pro 10.4 introduces a new role-based clip selection command. Command right and left arrow will select the next or previous clip within the current role. When you come to a connected clip, that clip is selected instead of the clip underneath. By combining clip selection with the correction shortcuts, we can navigate to a clip with Command right arrow, open color wheels with Command 6, work with them, then press Command right arrow to go to the next clip, and we're immediately presented with a color wheel so we can get to work. You can also assign keyboard shortcuts to color correction commands. For example, in the command editor, I have created a new command set that assigns Option C to toggle selected effects and Control Option Command C to toggle all corrections. I've also assigned Option Command left and right arrow to move to the next and previous effects. So if you have a clip with multiple corrections applied, you can press Option C to toggle the current correction, Option Command right arrow to go to the next correction, Option C to toggle that correction, or Control Option Command C to toggle all corrections. You can now keyframe corrections to change over time as lighting conditions change. Simply make a correction on one frame, set a keyframe, move to a different frame, and change the correction. The corrections will animate from one to the next, and you can show video animation to adjust the timing of the change.